Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews and this is my review for The Tomorrow War. Angry Andy, Angry Andy Reviews. Angry Andy. The Tomorrow War is an action sci-fi time travel mashup where soldiers from the future come back to the past to recruit more soldiers to go and fight in the future to defeat an alien invasion. And it's utterly ridiculous, but highly entertaining. Chris Pratt stars as an ex-marine special forces guy come biology science teacher okay who is drafted along with countless other people in continuous waves to do war against these obnoxiously crazy looking aliens they're kind of like a mashup between xenomorphs and the creatures from starship troopers and just holding on that thought this is what this film is. It's a mashup of all different influences. You've got everything in there. You've got Starship Troopers, you've got Aliens, you've got Back to the Future. Oh, there's references galore, there's influences galore. And to a bit of its detriment, it somewhat takes away from its own identity. It's not even the most surprising of time travel movies, to be quite honest, but what this film does have, have in abundance I need to speak properly, is unrelenting, completely bonkers action. And it's not even smart. There's nothing smart about this film. You can see there's many twists and turns coming left, right and centre. There is literally nothing here in the way of surprises. The, the plot is as windy as a fart being destroyed in a fart factory by way of tornado impact. You know, there's, there's just nothing... There's nothing coy, there's nothing simple about this. It is literally just, I say there's nothing simple, everything's pretty much simple about this, but there's nothing nothing contextually strong about this film, shall we say. It is literally there on the screen in orange and amber, the colours of explosions and the death of countless soldiers. The visuals in this film are what really stand out for it coming away from the completely lackluster plotting the <laughs> pointless twists the the really tired sort of father story that doesn't really work and plays really against Chris Pratt it leaves him exposed a little bit when it goes into this more emotional sort of depth to it which is about as deep as a puddle outside right now where it's raining it's the action, the spectacle that sells this film and pretty much the only thing really going for it. But that isn't to say that I didn't enjoy it because I knew based on the trailer what I was getting into with this film. It doesn't shirk away from any of that. It's very much here is what you're going to get. Here is what you will take away from it and pretty much nothing else. Like I said, the action is absolutely crazy. The effects are surprisingly good, contrary to what I've seen in a lot of reviews. They're saying that they're like TV movie effects. I completely disagree. Completely disagree. There is something a bit more substantial to this film than, I'd say, Army of the Dead. You know, and that's the biggest comparison I'm making here. That comparison between the two, I think this is a much more entertaining kind of film, really, for me anyway. I might be a hilariously wrong there, and I guess we'll find out if anyone comments or not. What's really great as well is that the shots complement a lot of the action. There's some really big sort of open space establishing shots. You see a lot of what's going on, the desolation through the war, and you get all this interesting sort of backdrop. And it's a shame really that they don't really go any further into that. They don't explore the wider sort of impact across the world. All we get is bits and pieces and snippets of information Funnily enough, this film could have done with probably a little bit more 
dare I say it, exposition because everything just kind of happens. Nobody really questions, and whenever somebody questions it, it's a case of, well, you can't know because if you know, you'll ruin this for that reason. But then they don't really give a reason. It's just nobody's told anything that goes on, so the audience is kind of just brought along for this ride, experiencing just utter chaos without really any sort of contextual reason for any of it. And it does try to fill in those gaps at the end of the film, but, and this is the big problem for me, the ending is utter shite. It is utter shite. It goes from this completely bombastic, relentless sequence of events, sequence of action set pieces, where it, everything just escalates and escalates to a point where it's <laughs> it's dialed up to 12, not 11. It's up to 12. It's absolutely crazy. And then it drops. It completely drops in tone. The tone shifts entirely and becomes this weird sort of Indiana Jones mission to this glacier to <laughs> find out what's going on. And it, it the tone, the pacing of the film completely drops and it kills it. And the ending is just another tired, lazy sort of, oh, family hug it out kind of scenario. And there's nothing really surprising in the ending at all. It's very predictable, it's very obvious, and it's disappointing given that the previous hour and bloody 45 minutes was so relentlessly engaging, so continuously gradually going up this hill into pure relentless chaos, that it just crumbles away. And that is a shame, because you have great people in here. Chris Pratt is really good. Yeah, okay, the material doesn't do him any favours, but he sells it. I'm not entirely convinced of him as a major action star, but he sells the part that he's given here just about. And then you have J.K. Simmons, who is criminally underused in this film. And he looks beefy as anything. Absolutely beefy. I want to know what he's on. Because when I'm when I'm his age, I, I want I want in on that. But yeah, to round off, this film is really good fun. I watched it on a Sunday night completely bored with everything else that was on TV and the missus were going to put something on, can't remember what it was, I think it might have been Captain Marvel actually, <laughs> whoops, and I, I shot it down, I went let's watch this, let's have a bit of fun and it was fun, even she turned away and she's not really big on these kind of films, she turned away and said that was pretty fun, that's what this film is, it's pretty fun, it's escapist fun, I mean you've got Fast and Furious out there in the cinemas right now and you know, all these big tentpole summer blockbuster movies. This is this is one of those. I'm surprised this didn't get a cinema release, to tell you the truth. I mean, it probably would have bombed horrifically, but it probably should have done... It probably should have been out there, I reckon. But yeah, for me, this is... Oh, it's a bit difficult because that ending is horrific. Oh, this is a positive 6 out of 10. I think oh, I'm going to push it to a 7. A 7 out of 10 here for me, from me, because I did really, really enjoy it. Even though it's completely ridiculous, the plot is terrible, the dialogue is terrible, but those bits of action were just really, really good fun. Really, really good fun. And this is what we've needed. We needed films like this, completely balls the wall action mayhem, you know, to get us out of this utter nightmare of the last 18 months. But there you have it. A nice... Lovely 7 out of 10 for me. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this. I'll see you next time.